54 Eastern Time. I am at an undisclosed location in Georgia. Totally top secret. Uh, as you can see, there's a fence around it, so they don't. I, I can't tell you where I'm at. Home messaging. No. You have zero. I always forget the volumes on because I need the volume on to know where I'm at. I dropped off three coils. Uh, eye to the side. I pulled into a door over there. You know, you come in this gate and do a hard right, a hard left, and then a hard right on the other side of that car. And this is one of those locations where it's like, am I doing it right? Because they had signs everywhere. <laughs> and I'm like, huh, okay. I mean, the, it said shipping and receiving, receiving coils and over the, next to the door and I'm like, okay, that's I've got coils, so I pulled right in front of the door, and I, you know, there's a stop sign. I, no, there wasn't a stop sign. I stopped before I entered the door because many locations don't like you to enter unless you got their permission. So I read all their signs and their directions, and I'm like, oh, huh, okay. I could see the shipping office inside, and inside the door there was a stop sign. So I pulled forward, stopped at the stop sign. Uh, gave my paperwork to somebody. He said, here, let me find the coil guy for you. He came back. He said, pull up a couple more bays into the bay I needed to unload in. That was one smooth operation. I thought, you know, I've got to be doing something wrong here. Because um, this just went too smoothly. <laughs> it took me less than 30 minutes to untarp, unsecure everything, get unloaded, get my paperwork, pull out here, put everything away. And get ready for my next load. Uh, of course, I've uh, I, I can't really do anything because I've got uh, two minutes left on my clock. That's what it says: is two minutes in the upper right-hand corner. In a second, it'll focus eventually. Um, and uh, because of that, I can't drive anywhere. <laughs> Here, let me give it something to focus on of non-two-dimensional. There we go. So I've got, uh, I've been off duty for 17 minutes, and in another, what, 23 minutes, my 30 minute break will be complete. And that will reset to what time I have left, which is four hours and 35 minutes of drive time. And we'll see what we get next. I am in, where am I? I, I guess I'm in what I would call Northeast Atlanta, Georgia. And that, and it's Thursday. Uh, in the middle of the afternoon so I am not I don't know what's gonna happen <laughs> ideally because you know from here to my house it's probably a day's drive the odds of getting a load from this area that is not lumber are probably pretty small so and the odds that it would go you know past or even near st. Louis I'd probably be, you know, uh, dreaming for that. So we'll see what happens. Um, usually this is when they start uh, uh, crunching numbers. I don't know what they do. They, I'm sure they're thinking about it. It's like, oh, this guy lives up here in regional Midwest. We need to get him a load that at least goes that direction, which is what I would hope for. Uh, some kind of load that delivers in Indiana uh, or Arkansas something like that tomorrow and then I can pick up a load in one of those locations that go by my house for on Friday so we will see uh, what happens but that's it for right now it's uh, Thursday I've already done uh, 326 miles already and uh, so yeah if uh, if all goes well I'll break 500 but it doesn't always go well so we'll see it's Friday. I'm at uh, the Flying J just as you get into Kentucky. It, uh, what have I got here? <laughs> got a couple of steel coils that uh, I'm taking to Tulsa, Oklahoma. They're each uh, slightly over 23,000 pounds, so they each have four chains and they're eye to the side, my least preferred method, but hey, I work with it. 
And uh, so, the great thing was is that uh, I got, uh, got there first thing in the morning in Atlanta, so it took me about 20 minutes to get there from where I stayed the night. And unfortunately, I couldn't get a load assignment after I dropped off my load yesterday, so I got this. It's going to Tulsa, but the, I'm taking it home to Madison, Illinois, which is a little bit of out, out of route, but oh well. The awesome thing is, is that it, it delivers on Monday, but it has a set appointment at 2 o'clock, which means I do not have to leave on Sunday. So I am happy with that. So I will complete my 30 minute rest break at this uh, Flying J and uh, go home. I'm about four hours from the Madison Yard. I've got five hours left on my clock. And uh, yeah, that's about it. My weekend will start tomorrow. It, the interesting thing is it was like 32 degrees outside uh, this morning in Atlanta and all the... <laughs> the truck drivers they had face masks on and everything I'm like it's barely cold enough to snow and you guys are acting like it's the middle of Alaska or something it was it was good stuff good stuff all right